Hey guys, this is Paco Minel back with another episode of Reformat. Reformat is about you and your battle station. This is a show that talks about your setup and ways on how you can further improve it. We got a bunch of cool setups this week, so let's get started with episode 8. This first setup is submitted by Peter. His setup was inspired by his passion for Pixar, and he's a recent college graduate and had just got his first place. Right off the bat, we got a very clean looking minimalist setup here. Nice warm color theme that makes for a very relaxing and homey setup. Kind of reminds me of a glass of champagne. Very elegant. His rig is rocking an i5 4670K, GTX 970, 32GB of Dominator RAM, all inside a Corsair 750D case. For his peripherals, he's using a Mac keyboard, LG 34UM95 monitor, and a Logitech MX Master mouse. Definitely a lot of great components and peripherals for productivity. Here. I like how he has Pixar posters on display that adds a unique splash of personality to his otherwise very minimalist setup. What I would do to improve this setup is to perhaps get a bigger desk so he can move the computer from the carpet floor and be able to display it on his desk. Next, I get a pair of studio monitor speakers to really complete this professional productivity look as he currently doesn't have any speakers. Other than that, I don't think this setup needs accent LEDs as it looks amazing the way it is. Thank you for submitting your cool setup, Peter. Setup number two is submitted by Paul from Hawaii. He works as a merchandiser and he's into playing video games and various sports. I'm loving the cohesive white color theme with the blue accent LEDs and that awesome looking Star Wars poster above his monitor. You can tell that he really went out of his way to color match everything and create a cohesive Star Wars theme. His rig is rocking an i5-6500, 16GB of Corsair LED RAM, GTX 1070, all inside a Fantax Evolve ITX case. For his peripherals, he's using a PB278Q 1440p monitor, Audio-Technica MX30 headphones, CM Quickfire Rapid, Corsair M65 Pro mouse and a mouse bungee, and an extended mouse pad from Reflex Lab. I love the fact that he has a headphone hanger on his wall to mount his headphones. This really frees up space on his desk and puts his nice headphones on display. Cable management is on point here as you can't really see any cables other than keyboard cable running through underneath his monitor. What I would do to improve this setup is to get a proper pair of speakers as he doesn't have any speakers right now. Next, I'd get a white gaming chair or a new office chair to match his entire theme as the black chair kind of ruins the white color theme. Other than that, I really wouldn't change anything else as this setup looks amazing as it is. Thank you for for submitting your setup, Paul. Setup number three is submitted by Curzon from the Philippines. He works as an IT specialist and he's into playing video games as well as editing videos and photos. First off, I can't help but notice that cool looking custom desk with a white backboard that makes his monitors look like they're floating in midair. However, there's a lot going on here and it's kind of overwhelming to take in at first glance, especially the separate entertainment setup to the right side with a big TV hooked up to his laptop. His PC is rocking an A10 7700K, 8GB of G Skill Rip Jaws RAM, MSI GTX 7 50Ti all inside a Techware carbon case. For its peripherals, he's using Edifier 2.1 speakers, Devastator keyboard and mouse combo, LG 22-inch monitor, and an AOC 19-inch monitor. For its home theater setup, he's using a 60-inch Hisense 4K TV and an old Samsung laptop with an i3 processor in it. First thing I would do to improve this setup is to get at least a 24-inch monitor or replace those two small monitors with an ultra-wide, as I really don't think a 22-inch and 19-inch monitor is big enough. Next, I'd cable manage his home theater setup up as the wires are kind of all over the place. Perhaps the laptop really isn't necessary with a smart TV and it makes the area look very cluttered. He can also replace a small table with one that matches his desk so he doesn't look mismatched. Other than that, this setup has a lot of potential and I like how it looks, but it can easily be improved by following the tips I talked about. Thank you for submitting your setup, Curzon. Setup number four is submitted by Rob. He works for a company that makes foam props for theme parks and attractions. That's a very badass job, by the way. He's into playing video games and he has his own YouTube channel as well. We have an awesome looking triple monitor gaming battle station here with a tricked out modified NZXT S340 case. I love how the DX Racer chair matches the color theme of his setup as well. His rig is rocking an i7 6700K, 32GB of RAM, GTX 970 Hall of Fame, all inside a modified NZXT S340 case which he modded himself. For his peripherals, he's using three Benkey 27 inch monitors, Razer Death Adder Chroma mouse, Corsair K95 RGB 
keyboard and Logitech Z623 speakers. First thing I would do to improve this setup is manage those nasty cables that are kind of all over the place. This setup would look 10 times better if the cables were managed properly. Next, I'd mount those headphones on a headphone mount so that it doesn't take up space on the desk. Then I'd upgrade the Logitech Z623 speakers as they don't sound too good at all. Maybe he could get a sound bar instead so that it would still fit underneath his triple monitor setup. I think this setup is very ergonomic the way it is with a keyboard tray so that's really cool. I'm also loving the framed Star Wars posters above the setup. This is another setup with a ton of potential that can easily be improved by following the tips I talked about. Thank you for submitting your setup, Rob. Last but not least is setup number 5 submitted by John from Canada. He's an MMA fan, a paintball player, gamer, and PC enthusiast. First off, there's a lot going on in this setup and it looks very cluttered. I'm kind of overwhelmed by how it looks and he really needs to tidy up including his battle station. However, his rig looks really cool and I can't help but notice the awesome looking custom liquid cooling loop he has. His rig is rocking an i7-6700K, GTX 980 Ti, 32GB of G-Skill RAM, all inside a Be Quiet Dark Base Pro 900 case. For his peripherals, he's using two BenQ monitors and a Dell UltraSharp 24-inch monitor, as well as a Steel Series rival mouse, Leopold TKL keyboard, Edifier 2.1 speakers, and a Shure SM7B on a pile boom arm. Again, first thing I would do to improve this setup is to take out all the unnecessary stuff underneath his desk, tidy up those cables, and really make use of the huge amount of desk space that he has. Maybe moving the entire monitor layout to the corner section of his desk would look better. I'd also move the speakers to ear level as mounting the speakers on the wall like that would not sound optimal. He has a lot of great components and peripherals, but his entire setup is hindered by how cluttered it is right now. Another setup with great potential that can be easily improved by tidying up and following the tips I talked about. Thank you for submitting your setup, John. There you have it guys the five setups of reformat episode 8. My favorite setup is submitted by Paul from Hawaii. I just love the cohesive white color theme and how clean everything looks. Great job on your setup Paul. To everyone else watching if you want to get featured on reformat all you have to do is submit high resolution photos of your setup to reformatsetups at gmail.com together with a short personal introduction. That wraps up this week's episode of Reformat. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section down below which one is your favorite setup. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. As always, I'm your host, Paco Minel, and I'll catch you in a future video.